Cameraman here, folks. I got a story time for you guys, okay? But it's kind of weird the way this story time's gonna go. Because, uh, but before I do my story time, I want you guys to check out Neutral Drop TV on Instagram. We got an Instagram going. I got my uh, my nephews working on it. They're busting it out, getting everything done. It's coming together real nice. And um, man, we're flowing. Subscribers are coming in. You know, loving the content and just it's it's awesome, man. We're getting a lot of love from a lot of people, man, all over the world. Not just you know, it's it's crazy, man. I'm telling you. There's countries I haven't even heard of. Um, the UK is coming in. We got New Zealand, Brazil, uh, Australia. A lot of Australia. A lot of Canada, man. Love my guys in Canada up north, man. I don't know how you guys take that cold weather. Trust me, bananas. Right now, it's starting to get a little cold. I hate it. But anyway, um, yeah, the story time that I told about when we got into the... When, when I had the fight with the bouncer. What the hell was it called? I think it was... Uh, I called it... I'm minding my business and I get called out, right? We were with Austin, right? And I, I do the story time and Stuntman's like, yo, man, you left out of the best part, man. I'm like, what are you talking about? He reminds me of what happened after we drove away from the cop, okay? When the, when the beer bottle rolled out under the car and all that. If you guys didn't see that story time, man, it's a pisser. But anyway, um, okay, so we get it. I'll run through it real fast. We end up going out to a club. We're drinking tequila, this, that, and the other thing. I'm 20 years old, and I get called out by somebody. I don't know who it is. I'm going, do I know this fucking guy? Guy calls me outside. We get into a brawl. I knock this motherfucker out, do what I got to do, and we get the fuck out of there. Get pulled over by the cops. Fucking down the block, because, and I forgot to tell this part. Stuntman fucking forgot to put the lights on in the truck. So we're just like a moving target. Bang, we get fucking pulled over. Okay, cops like, you guys okay? Yeah, we, we're okay. Open the door. Stunt man and cop says, open the door, please. Fucking beer bottle. Rolls out under the truck. Insane. Cop says, guys, get the fuck out of here, man. You okay to drive? We're good, we're good. Leave. So what do we do? We don't just fucking go home. We don't call, we don't, we don't, you know, leave well enough alone, okay? We go to a diner, all right? So we go to fucking, uh, there's a diner on Union Turnpike, like one, I think like 164th Street or 168th Street. In Queens, okay? And, you know, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. And we're all fucking bleeding. My knuckles are swollen. Austin's fucking bleeding. His nose is bleeding. The kid Julio, I, his nose got ripped open. He's fucking bleeding. Stuntman's whacked out. We're all fucking whacked out. So we go to the diner and, you know, we start eating, right? And the, from the minute we fucking got there, we're getting a hard time. Maitre D's looking at us like... What are you fucking getting? You know, you're not eating it. We're, bro, we're fucking hungry. We got into a little fucking scuffle. We want to eat. Now, diners at 5 in the morning on a fucking Saturday night slash Sunday morning, they're insane, man. It's fucking all the clubs let out. Everybody's out. Everybody's whacked out. And they know what they're dealing with. The fucking, you know, the, the waiters and all that shit. And the maitre d's and diners, whatever. So, we sit down. And the guy finally seats us. And the fucking waiter comes over. And he's a fucking asshole. He's like... What do you want? Like he's 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 talking down to us like we're fucking clowns or something, you know? So we start looking at each other like this motherfucker, man. And he's bringing it. I'm like, yo, I ordered French toast and fucking eggs. And, no, you didn't. I, I said, fucking tell me what I did or didn't. Give me the fucking pad. I look at the pad, you know, and, and meanwhile, he he wrote it right, but he brought the wrong shit. All his fucking scribble. Like, you fucking scribble on the pad. How are you supposed to know what the fuck I even ordered when you scribble over the pad? So next thing you know, we're looking at each other and we're like, you know, this guy's a fucking asshole, man. We're fucking, uh, we're all fucking my hands, boom, 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 fucking throbbing, right? So I look at Austin, he looks at me, he's like, you know we ain't paying, right? I'm like, yeah, fuck that, fuck this guy. You start justifying it, you know? So of course, stuntman's the driver and I go, listen, stuntman, this is what you're gonna do. Go to the fucking car. Go outside. Just mosey out the door. We, us three are going to stay in the booth. Nothing's going to be uh, suspicious or whatever. I said, go get the fucking car. Start that motherfucker up. I point. I go double park right out front, right by the door. Okay? He's like, all right, all right. Goes to the car. Gets the motherfucker going. K5 Suburban. No, K5 Blazer two-door. And 
good looking at the waiter. He's looking at us. Because the longer you fucking take to start get going in your pocket for money, the more suspicious they start getting. So, I'm like, yo, guys, on three, we get up and go. That's it. The guy can't fucking grab us all. You know, he's not stopping us. We get up, and the guy immediately goes to the fucking door. So Austin's leading the way. Austin takes his fucking arm and just goes like this to the guy. And the guy like goes fucking flying. Now it's time to run. We're, we're in the wrong at this point. We fucking bolt. We jump in the fucking car and we haul ass out of there fucking laughing our asses off. But that's just, we used to call that eat and run. We do it once in a while, man. We were broke. We didn't have any fucking money. Dead ass broke. Yes, the waiter got fucked. But he was a fucking asshole. But, you know, we used to do this on a regular basis. We were, we were kind of fucked up like that, you know. But sometimes you got to eat and run. You got to eat and run. I got a few funny stories with eat and run. We go into a mall, the Queen's Mall, right? And the Queen's Mall has a fucking parking garage, right? That's like, you 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 go up like a big spiral to get up to the fucking top of it, right? And there was a place called Cookies, and it was on the fourth floor in the mall, right? So what you had to do was, you go to the fourth floor, park the car, and you got to walk up a big, long fucking, like, uh hallway to get into the place if any of you guys is my age i grew up in queens you're gonna know about cookies cookies steak pub right so we go to fucking cookies and we're young man we're like 17 years old i don't even know who was driving at the time right so we go in there and we know exactly what the fuck we're gonna do we're gonna eat and run we're gonna do the dine and dash so we go in there and it's like six of us so we start fucking ordering we're eating we're eating like fucking pigs we're going crazy we know we know what we're gonna do but we fail to fucking realize that we're like in a mall. We're not going to hit the street for like five minutes until we do this fucking caper of, uh, you know, eat and run. So, but one of the funny parts is this kid we used to hang out with. He goes, now, now it's dessert time, right? So, would you guys like dessert? Oh, of course we'd like dessert, right? He's like, give me a chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, uh, thing with the wow, he, he makes this huge fucking order right the funny part of it is he looks around the table he goes bring one for everybody i'm like oh, this kid's out of his fucking mind it was just you know 17 years old he's like a big shot like he was like he did it like he was somebody's uncle taking everybody out to dinner you know and so we fucking eat right now now you gotta get your balls up you gotta get the fuck out of there you know so we're like fuck all right you know we hadn't done this too often because we were still young Next thing you know, we fucking go for the door. Boom, we blast past the fucking maitre d' and we're running through the mall. We gotta get to this hallway to get us down to the fucking car. And then we gotta still go around this fucking circle to get out of there, right? So we're booking, we're booking, we're booking. Nobody's behind us. We dive into the fucking car, right? And make it to that circle. I'm telling you, we did this circle at about fucking 50 miles an hour. We don't even fucking have the ticket. We blast through the fucking wood. There's like a wooden arm that you gotta put your ticket and the fucking arm goes up. Blast through a boom. Break that fucking thing down and we're out of there. Just another fucking dine and dash. I got another funny dine and dash. What we used to do was, there was this diner in Flushing. Right now, it used to be a fucking restaurant. First it was a diner, then it turned into a Chinese restaurant. Now it's a TD bank. It's right on the fucking corner on the one, right? So now we're really young. We're like fucking 15 years old, right? We go into the place, we fucking eat, but, but we have a plan. We say, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to fucking go in there, okay, and we're going to eat. Right about the fucking time that we're done eating, we're going to look at each other, give each other the signal, and we're going to get into a fight. Each t Now, we sit at two separate tables. we got like six guys at each fucking table, so like half the neighborhood's in the fucking place eating, right? We look at each other, we get up. We start brawling with each other. It's like a wrestling match. We're not really trying to beat each other up, but we're fucking diving. We're falling into tables, fucking rolling around, smashing shit, right? And naturally, what's going to happen? The guy that owns the fucking diner is going to come out and go, Get the fuck out of here, you motherfuckers! Get the fuck out of here! Sure as shit, that's exactly what happened. He fucking kicked us all out, and we ate for free. But this is what you're doing. You're starving hungry, man. We were so broke and so fucked up when we were young. You know, we, we grew up in a fucking white ghetto, you could call it, man. We didn't have, we had fucking nothing, right? We used to go to the grocery store and fucking walk around and eat. 
That's how broke we were. We would go to the fucking grocery store, take a yogurt, swig it down. Go to the, the, the fruit section, grab a banana, eat a banana, open up a box of cereal, dump it in your fucking mouth, some cookies, do your fucking rounds and go outside and leave. That's how fucking broke we were. But anyway, you guys, I, I understand you guys love the story times. I got a lot of stories. I've been there, done that, a million things, me and Stuntman. But um, basically, I want to bring you guys the best content I can, man, just being me. And, you know, I don't, I don't condone... You know, eating and running and all this other shit. The waiters out there working, trying to make money. The waitresses, you know, the grocery stores don't deserve for me to go in there eating the food and, you know, throwing it all over the place. And, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. We, we were wild kids. I'm just telling you the way it was. I'm not glorifying it. I'm not telling you to go out and do it. I don't want you to do it. But this is what we did. And, guys, it was the 80s, man. It was a different time. Try doing that now. You're going to be on 30 different cameras. You end up on the news. It's ridiculous. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. We're coming with content. I keep it raw, uncut. I hit the play button and I go and that's it. You guys know how I do it. We're for real. Me and Stuntman are going to do one together. We're going to do a story time together pretty soon. Um, we got a lot in the works, man. A lot coming. A lot more, you know, crazy stuff we're going to be coming with bringing it down the pipe, all right? Like I said, guys, you guys are the best, man. We're going for the million, folks.